as we get ready to start day nine of the Murphy Challenge here on Seven Steps to Quit, we're going to focus in on some of the supplements that we take after we finish working out and why we time it the way that we do. I've been doing the different types of push-ups, by the way. Ten different types of the ten different rounds. And now I'm on the last round of everything. I shouldn't be going through it okay. Now it's all a matter of just catching your breath and sweating a whole lot. But it's a true high-intensity interval training opportunity. That's definitely what this is, you know. Whew. We get this last set in. And then let's take a look at some of the supplements that I take after all of this is done. Because it helped me. I believe in getting strong, particularly with creatine. We'll get to that in just a second. Last one. I usually do regular push-ups on the last one. Got it under 52, and it took me about a minute to get everything turned on, so I got it done about 51. I did a little more sprinting at the end, but it feels good. I don't, I don't feel bad at all. I hadn't eaten in about eight hours, so it's not on one of my true fasting type of uh, days, but I'm still somewhat fasted for eight hours. But I tend to take supplements after the workout because uh, that's when your body really is more hungry for nutrition. You know, that's why this the after workout meal and the uh, and why the why the uh, protein shake is so important. Because that after workout meals, you know, your body is hungry for food. Uh it's been depleted, it's been taxed. Now it's looking for something to help it recover. So of course the plant based diet helps, but then Let's take a look at some of these supplements. So I'm done with the workout. I got my shake already made. Now it's time to get my supplements. Now, we already got them put together and, and put in this box. Makes it easy to grab them and, and, to, and to use them. I remember, I couldn't put this in there, but this is one of them right here. Super Chlorea. Um... And this is a superfood on a whole different level because this is dealing with a lot of um, algae. And so it's part of the natural, uh, it's part of the whole food plant-based push for supplements that I'm utilizing instead of animal products. Another one of my favorite supplements is actually creatine. Now, out of all the ones, creatine is the most tested one. It's one of the most tried and true ones. And it is a, a true bodybuilding supplement, but it's for every sport. And a lot of people are concerned about this possibly causing problems like if you don't have enough water in your system. Well, you just drink more water. Uh, but you would have to really load up on a lot of this in order for this to be harmful to you unless you have very sensitive kidneys. Uh, um, but it doesn't wreck your kidneys. It's just, it'll tax your kidneys if you don't drink enough water. But this will help increase the volumes in your muscle. And this is a great testosterone booster, by the way. This is one of the natural ones that works really well. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is something that you can get when you are outside. I would prefer to go outside and be out in the sun and get your vitamin D naturally, and I would do that. But in the wintertime, it's hard to do that because you don't have access to it. This is what you get when you're eating oysters. You're really trying to get more zinc in your system. And rather than depend on, you know, oysters for it, although I'm sure it's more fun with oysters because they do taste good. I remember how they taste, and I used to love it. But this is what you're trying to replace, you know, when... When you get excited and you're having intercourse and when your body produces certain proteins that shoot out of your system, 
you lose a lot of zinc. This replenishes that, okay? So this is also a testosterone booster and simple and inexpensive, not expensive at all. Also, I want to hip to you to uh, Oak Straw. Not expensive, great natural bodybuilding supplement for building muscle. Um, Sativa Aventa, Oak Straw. It, it, it is uh, used in all of the uh, natural bodybuilding circles. Very natural. Once again, plant-based, great for your system. Now, if there's anything that's a little risque, it'll be this one. And I'm just showing you this one, just the truth in advertisement. 7 Keto DHEA. I mean, if you pump up enough of this, you might get sort of a steroid type of an effect. But you would have to swallow like tons of this stuff and probably make your stomach sick first. But DHEA by itself might actually produce estrogen in your system. But 7-keto has been proven, according to the stats and the studies that I've, se I've seen, this has proven to be more effective and not causing that crazy side effect, which could actually create, which is often called glyco, glyco, well, it's better known in the gym as bitch tits <laughs> with guys, but... But you know, but this is the this is the most risque kind of a supplement I even ever dabbled in, and it's seven keto DHEA, and it's practically nothing. It's like regular water <laughs> in the bodybuilding um, world. But those are the ones that I use along with ashwagandha, um, magnesium, like I say, uh, creatine. All of these help, and I'm I'm convinced that you know, like as I'm going along with these days. I'm finding myself not getting weaker at all. Now, um, I, I, I missed a couple of days full tilt where I didn't get a chance to get the miles in, but I still did the pull-ups and push-ups because I had a couple of days off where I was working extra, extra overtime and I just couldn't squeeze it in. But I still kept things going as far as the exercise was going, going in. And I haven't had a great deal of soreness as a result of it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't seen the muscles really kick in like I want them to, but I'm starting to see some size, some volume. I don't have the definition that I'm looking for just yet, but I'm starting to see the volume in my forearms from carrying those dumbbells and stuff like that. So it's getting there, but you know, we've got a long ways to go. Cause you know, we're only about one third there. You know, we got another 21 days left, right? Um, but those are the supplements that I use and I take them after I work out because that's when they are absorbed the best and organize them. So you don't have to look everything up and go through the painful stake of going this pill and that pill and that pill and that pill and that pill. Once again, you want to plan ahead so that your day can go as smoothly as possible. So now I'm about to smooth take my supplements for today. It's just this simple. Pop the top. Got the supplements. Time to take them. And I would be remiss if I forgot about this. Instead of fish oil, vegan omega-3. See, I'm able to get my essential oils without necessarily using animal products. It's a little pricier, but you know what? It's worth it. I'm worth it. You're worth it. Pay for, we pay for a bottle of liquor. Why not pay for a bottle of something better than even liquor, right? This is the stuff that you need, folks. Supplements are not here to replace the meals that you got to have, but they do what they're supposed to. They supplement a good diet and a good workout routine and a good resting routine as well. All of it goes together. And it's making me feel stronger and stronger. I'll be real honest. I don't feel weaker during this process. I'm feeling stronger, actually. So, yeah, get you some supplements to help yourself out. That was day nine of the Murph Challenge, Seven Steps to Quit. Be sure to follow us on Facebook with our Seven Steps to Quit Facebook group, as well as our YouTube channel and our Instagram page. Looking forward to day 10 with you coming right up.